Hello and welcome to the CGTN Live broadcast. I'm Yang Chunxi in Shanghai right now. So I'm in downtown Shanghai. So what we have here is China's first unmanned bank branches. It's just how you heard it. It has no uh, clerks, no counters, no busy staff. Uh, it's a totally unmanned bank branch, uh, except for the security in front. And uh, so we have convenient uh, man, uh, staffless convenience stores in China. We ha also have waiterless uh, restaurants in China. And now this is uh, one of the latest in uh, uh, innovation that joins the uh, unmanned family. So uh, what we're going to do today is to go inside and check out how smart everything is. Can we? Can it do, do the same thing that a normal bank branch can do? So uh, let's just come inside. So upon entering this place, you can look at the, the, I mean, the decoration is definitely more futuristic than a traditional bank branch. And uh, you're greeted by a robot. Hello. She doesn't want to talk to me, apparently. Hello. Oh. Hello. So she's asking me what can she help me with, and apparently she's called Xiao Long Ren, which which is uh, which means little dragon. Uh, 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 so I told her I want to open a deposit account and she just told me where I can get that done. She's instructed me to go inside in one of the functional areas uh, in there. Uh, I'm going to ask her what, what's her name again. Uh, 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 so I asked her what are some of the wealth management options that we have and she instructed me to go on the bank's uh, homepage website. So uh, um, let's just go inside. Uh, she asked me if uh, I have to instruct her teacher, so uh, apparently she doesn't understand the questions I just asked uh, just now, and I, I asked her how do I get in there. Uh, but I do know how to get in there. It's by swiping my ID card. And I don't think I have to because I just did that a while ago and the system recognizes my face. And uh, what you saw there was a facial recognition system. So my face is already in the system. So when it scanned my face, it, it automatically knows that I am Yang Chengxi and it lets me in. Uh, right now we're greeted by another robot. It changes face apparently. So this is apparently a child. It's a, it has a persona of a child. Um, I, I told I told him that I want to open a deposit account and he it it's called referring to as he. Uh, he asked me if I brought my ID card. Uh, so he said, okay, let's follow him. So we're going to fo follow him a bit. Um, okay. I think he's leading us uh, out to an array of machines over there. Oh, 
Oh, he's apparently also called Little Dragon. So he referred to me as brother, so apparently he can see, he can see my face and recognize that I'm male. Um, 我应该怎么样办卡呀? 哥哥,这个小朋友就没有他做过了,你一起再去算,可以问我的大堂姐姐。Hmm, so I asked him how do I open an account, and he said that he's never done it himself before, so I have to ask other people out there. Uh, so apparently the speech recognition is passable, he, he can understand almost uh, everything that I said. Uh, so according to him, he's four years old right now, so that explains the voice. Um, he explained to me that he has a, a very bad internet signal right now, so uh, he couldn't under, really understand my question. So, so how I understand it is that it's connected to an internet system, to a cloud system uh, that help him process what I told him uh, and can provide me with an answer after the cloud data system provides him with an answer. Uh, can VR I asked, I asked him what does the room next to us do. So he's checking that out. I'm, I'm not sure. So he explained to me that this is the uh, VIP room. So apparently uh, the, the branch has a VIP room where uh, only VIP clients can go inside and you can put on these virtual reality headsets so you can talk to a real life operator that help you with an array of operations. So uh, let, let's see if I, uh, it can recognize me. Oh, it cannot recognize me. This is a biometric uh, recognition system. So. Huh. So it says I'm not VIP. So I, I can't, obviously I can't go inside. Uh, let's see how this system works because I, I told him that I want to open a deposit account that this is where he leads me to. Uh, let's see what I can do here. So it can open an account, wire transfer. Um, you can do foreign currency deposits and withdrawal, open a credit card, get, get a loan, um, and print out some of your documents. So you can pretty much do uh, all the things that you can do at a normal branch with uh, a normal clerk, uh, but it's all integrated in one computer system. So let's say I want to open an account. So it says I'm opening an account. So it, I need to right now insert my uh, ID card So it is trying to recognize, so it's trying to put my face in the system. It's asked me to take off my glasses and make sure that I'm the only one in the frame. So uh, this is what I'll do. So prior to this, a lot of people, when they heard the news that there's an unmanned brand bank, uh, Oh, I didn't press start. So this asked me to nod my head. Mm. 
So it recognized my face and recognized my uh, personal, a lot of my personal information in there. Uh, when a lot of people heard the news that there's an unmanned bank, a bank, uh, the biggest concern was that how secure would all my operations be if I want to open an account? Um, how efficient and how safe would my information be if if I'm not face to face with a clerk? So apparently, it has its own mechanism of documenting your information, uh, of documenting your face, uh, but it's just totally. Uh, Without human, so I'm gonna I'm gonna ask little dragon right here to show me what other stuff can I see in the bank. 小龙人，我还能看见什么东西在这里？你可以带我去看看吗？所以，我问他，他问我，他问我，他问我，他问我，他问我，他问我，他问我，他问我，他问我，他问我，他问我，他问我，他问我，他问我，他问我，他问我，他问我，他问我，他问我，他问我，他问我，他问我，他问我，他
Oh, so they asked me to uh, confirm. Also, oh, this is celebrity. This is the celebrity that I'm taking a picture with. Also, oh, it says I'm 64% similar to this celebrity right here. I'm not sure if we look that similar. And she's female. So there's a QR code that I, I, I can scan. I don't know what will happen if I scan it. Let's, let's do that. Oh, so it takes, to, takes me to a page where I can, uh, I can apparently share this photo on my, on my WeChat moments. Hmm. I'm going to ask Little Dragon here, what else can I do? Uh, is there a presentation area? Is there an AR presentation area? So what I've noticed with my conversation uh, uh, with Little Dragon here is that it is very conversational. It's not a pure like question and answer conversation. So it so it can follow up on my questions. So it can ask me little thing, little details, and then it can execute. So it's one of the most conversational robots that I've seen. Oh, so this is the AR area. Uh, there's a. So this is a hologram where you can shop for uh, gold, apparently. Let's see if I can uh, access this gold and put it up there. Also, it's shown right here. Uh, so you can actually shop for gold bars here. And Chinese people love gold bars, and I think many uh, Eastern, Eastern countries value gold a lot, especially uh, China, India. And a lot of people buy gold bars for uh, investment reasons. So, Little Dragon is still waiting on me. Uh, I asked it, what's this place? So I told him I, need to, I want to go inside and have a look and play for a while and I asked, it to, uh, asked him to uh, wait for me uh, outside. So uh, he's so cute. Uh, Oh, oh, you can recognize me. I don't need to swipe my ID card and recognize me as Mr. Yang. So apparently, I am in the system. So let's go. Let's go inside. So, from what I'm told, from what I'm told, this is a place where you can put on this VR headset and experiment with the uh, with the apartment platform that the bank has. Because uh, China Construction Bank, so this this bank branch belongs to China Construction Bank, and the bank has actually a website where people can put on homes for rent or for sale. It's one of the one of the business branches uh, of the bank, and apparently here you can place yourself in any of those apartments. Uh, I wouldn't say all of them, but many of those apartments, uh, and, and see how you. And, and imagine yourself living in there. So uh, let's let's try it out. You can experiment with the uh, home rental website right here. So let's let me put this on. Oh, I need to lose my glasses. Hmm. Oh.
Oh, so I'm looking. Oh, this is a nice apartment. Can I go inside? Oh, wow. Opens the door. So now, I don't know if you can if you can see it. I'm now inside of the uh, bathroom of this place. Oh, this is actually 360 degrees. I would say the music is a little bit too loud. Come and check out. Uh, it's a definitely an innovative way, a new way to check out apartments in this area because it's a little bit too loud. So I'm gonna go outside and, and continue. So one of the people commented that that we should totally bring that robot to Canada, uh, to to that country because apparently it doesn't have uh, that lev this level of services. I think wait for the day that this thing speaks English and, uh, and we're good to go. Uh, because from my conversation with it, this is one of the smartest robots I've interacted with because it's very conversational. It just made me a little bit skeptical whether they have a human behind there because it's very instant uh, in its responses. And it's very, very conversation. It's n never purely like a question. You, n you don't have to frame your question in an exact way for it to understand you. Uh, so, uh, so I'm impressed with it. And another people commented uh, whether this will impact uh, the job of, uh, of many clerks and, and banking, retail banking professionals here in China. And of course that's been a trend that's been going on for years. I mean I've just come back from the Boao Forum uh, for Asia a while ago and a lot of conversations there focused on whether AI will be taking human jobs. That, and that seemed like a very far away topic, but we're seeing that happening right now in China uh, at an increasing rate. So I just talked about waiterless uh, restaurants and, 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 and staffless uh, convenience stores and now this is a, a new thing. And uh, apparently, this place only have uh, two security guards because well, there's no cl clerks, but you still have security guards to guard all the equipment at this place. And uh, I can actually show you some statistics of uh, of the trend here in China because uh, from October 2017 to January 2018, the five biggest biggest banks in China actually closed down. 326 branches here in China and uh, by the end of uh, 2017 uh, China has 229 bank branches but the growth of new bank branches actually slowed some 80 percent than a year ago than 2016 that's that's a lot and uh, at the same time all five biggest banks in China uh, are cutting headcounts so uh, you can see that the worries are already becoming a reality uh, where banks are using smart devices to replace humans. Uh, so uh, unemployment in, in this industry is going to be a concern uh, for the future uh, because a lot of Chinese people are already accustomed to using mobile apps like Alipay and WeChat Pay, uh, which, is, which are uh, invented by two of the biggest internet firms in China to handle a lot of their personal finances. They can pay for utility bills, they can pay for their credit card bills, uh, all kinds of bills and they can actually uh, uh, do a lot of non-cash operations also and wealth management using their mobile apps. 
so they never have to come to a branch. So a lot of bank branches in China are shutting down because of this. So China construction banks so sees this as part of the industry's future. Uh, you don't need clerks in the future, and that and that future might be coming faster than many people think. So I think that concludes everything that we have right here, and we we can see that people are waiting outside to come in. So what I've shown you three functional areas right here, and we've introduced you to this cute little dragon, my pal over here. And I can I can imagine more branches like this opening uh, throughout China's, uh, of course, first tier cities in the future. Uh, I, do, I do hope that it will come out with an English version uh, assistant robot uh, in, in, the, in the near future. I think a lot of uh, Chinese companies already have the capability of doing that. Uh, so uh, let's, let's, let's go outside. So, it should recognize my face. I don't have to swipe my card because I'm in the system. So our cameraman is. I don't. Okay, he's in the system too. He's registered too. Also, um, so you can imagine this requires quite a learning curve for many people. Uh, a lot of people are still accustomed to being serviced by humans uh, and a lot of people think that machines are not that reliable. Uh, I understand that a lot of people will have these concerns about this manless, uh, unmanned bank branch. So uh, the, the bank actually thought of this. So on the second floor of this place, there's actually a, a, just a traditional style uh, bank branch with normal uh, clerks and, uh, and counters where you can do all the other, uh, all the normal operations as a normal bank branch upstairs on the second floor. So a lot of uh, older citizens around here can still go to this branch uh, for their operate, uh, to handle their finances on the second floor. Uh, so this, uh, I think, I hope you got a taste of what this unmanned bank branch looked like. Uh, and uh, you're welcome to try it out. It's in downtown Shanghai. It's the Jiujiang branch, uh, not far away from the Bund. So after you, you can check it out, maybe you can go to the Bund for some sightseeing. Uh, so uh, yeah, this concludes our live broadcast here today. I'm Yang Chengxi, and I'll see you in the next one.